December 25, 1943, in Louisville, Kentucky, Harold Poole was one of the more athletically gifted competitors from the golden age of bodybuilding. His ancestry was German, African American, and American Indian. According to some bodybuilding pundits, this background gave him an exotic genetic combination that was perfectly suited for bodybuilding. At Short Ridge High School in Indianapolis, Poole's athleticism was apparent with his success as a quarterback, placing second in the state in wrestling, running the 440 in 50 seconds, and throwing a 12-pound shot 55 feet. Although his high school track coach suggested that Harold start lifting to improve his performance in athletic competition, it was two older bodybuilders who took Poole under their wing. In a pattern we have seen time and again with physical cultural greats, Poole had a mentor, or in this case, two mentors. Lauren Comstock and Dossie Sansing took Poole under their wing, showed him the way to train, and taught him how to pose. Eventually, Harold became known for popularizing the now famous, most muscular pose. More generally, and with time, Poole became known for having some of the most dynamic and elegant posing in bodybuilding. In 1960, Poole made his first appearance on the bodybuilding stage by winning the junior Mr. Indianapolis title and competing at the AAU Mr. America show. In 1963, he was runner-up at the same show and won the IFBB's Mr. Universe title. The following year, in 1964, he became the first African-American to be named IFBB Mr. America. He was also a three-time Mr. Olympia runner-up in 65, 66, and 67. Away from the bodybuilding stage, Poole had some ventures in business, and he owned a disco. He was also a bodyguard, including working for the fashion model Twiggy. For many years, Poole was an active martial arts enthusiast and practitioner, preferring to train and teach out of his garage rather than inside of a traditional dojo or academy setting. Curiously, he said that he did not hold a black belt due to a concern of ending up in jail should he hurt someone in a street fight or bar fight. In any case, it is clear that Harold Poole stayed hashtag gas station ready. At the start of his bodybuilding career, when he was building his foundation of strength, Poole trained three times per week. Typically, he would hit legs on Monday, upper body on Wednesday, and legs again on Friday. Then, for the following week, he would start with upper body on Monday, do legs on Wednesday, and then hit the upper body again on Friday. For his workout, Harold would do five sets of 15 reps for each exercise. Poole's favorite exercise was squat. As he explains it, quote, I used to do mini squats because at that time most of the bodybuilders had no legs, and that is because they did not like squats. It's hard work, end quote. Interestingly, Poole used a lot of running in preparation for bodybuilding competition. As far as nutrition was concerned, he had an old school approach. He said that you could eat meat and potatoes and you could eat your eggs and drink your milk anything that would help you put on weight it was all about trying to get huge in regard to performance enhancers Poole was adamant that he stayed away from steroids he attributes his size symmetry and definition to getting on the iron at 12 years old and not missing a workout for more of these old stories this history of physical culture click subscribe